On the line, we have video gamer Marcin from Poland. How are you doing, Marcin? Great, thank you. And you? Yeah, fine, thanks. What uh, would you like to talk about today? Which game? Uh, today, I'd like to talk about a game called Space Engineers. Space uh, Engineer. Oh, I've always wanted to be a space engineer. To, <laughs> you know, to uh, uh, develop the space. Yes, okay. Well, <laughs> it's not about developing space, it's about developing in space, obviously. Well, the, the title kind of says it all. You, you build ships and stations, stations and, like, big ships. Uh, well, if, if one wanted to, one could create even, like, Death Star in there. Uh, space Engineers is, uh, is a game about, um, about creating, but also about survival, there are two modes in the game, the creative mode and the survival mode. And the creative mode, you just basically build ships and, and, and fly them and, and play with them. And people created some amazing things uh, in, in there. Uh, so some people created ships so big that the game is just like too slow uh, to cope with them and uh, and kind of lags. Uh, you really need like a strong computer to see those ships because they have like thousands of blocks. Um, because because the ships are are made out of blocks, uh, like have various blocks available, uh, like of course walls and and then floors, but also some functional blocks, like for example gravity generators, so you can walk normally on the sh- on ships. Because you're in space, there's no gravity, there's nothing. Uh, if if you just put yourself to movement. If you apply a, fo- a force to to to, uh, to an object, it's gonna just float yeah. infinitely. Mm. Uh, so you have to like make gravity generators to uh, to cope with that. So it's a very and, realistic game. Yeah, it's actually very uh, well. It's, it's maybe not really that realistic because, uh, for example, if you put engines on the side of a ship, it doesn't really matter uh, where exactly to put them, uh, mm. more to the left or more to the right. It it just matters that they are on this side of the ship, so you can just kind of accelerate the whole ship in this direction. Uh, because normally, if you just if if you would put an engine like uh, for for example um, very far to 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 an edge of of a ship and uh, turn on this engine, uh, the whole ship would start to turn turn around Correct. instead yeah. of going in the direction in a straight line. It would just turn around in circles, and it would be very <laughs> pointless. <Yeah. laughs> so this this game kind of um, simplifies uh, a few aspects of living in space. Uh, so it's easier for you to just play, you know, to just create. Uh, there is also no atmosphere, no air. Uh, you're you just you're an engineer, and you have uh, like this backpack on you, and it's just assumed that you have enough air always uh, on you. Uh, so, so there's that. And uh, in the creative mode, it's, it's pretty fun to, to be, build the ship, ships and, and, and fly them. And, you know, people make fighters and everything and then just make like gigantic space battles because uh, the mechanism of destroying these ships is very realistic. It's very fine. They're very, very cool. Yeah, like when you hit a ship... With something, it, it really gets destroyed. Like this, uh, the the walls get kind of bent, and uh, it it all looks very very realistic, very very cool. Uh, but that's the survival mode in the, uh, the the creative mode. Uh, in the survival mode, the goal is m- mostly to survive because um, you have like a generator, like a reactor with uranium inside, and it's very, and there's very little of this uranium if you run out of the energy, you basically die. So you have to uh, mine uh, astro- asteroids for uranium. You have mm-hmm. like some basic mining equipment, but then you can like uh, make some new technology and build ships to, to help you mine uranium. There are also some ships that, so some randomly appearing ships that just fly in, in space. Uh, they kind of appear, uh, for example, 10 kilometers from you and you, you, you can go there and intercept this ship but it's going to defend itself so uh, it's it's important to build like a gigantic battleship to intercept these ships because they're usually quite powerful 
and uh, and you you just you can also create uh, various things, but the most mostly it's about survival, uh, about not dying. And it's kind of difficult because there are some restrictions in survival mode that are not there in creative mode. For example, uh, you you have to watch your resources. Uh, everything costs something. You know, when you build walls or, or anything, you just spend uh, like pl- steel plates or, or whatever resources you, you you need to use. And uh, it's actually kind of difficult to build a big ship in survival mode. But then again, if you build it uh, already it's, it's quite powerful it can help you with your life at many uh, in many ways so it's um, it's it's a very cool game i love it really okay thank you very much marcin we'll catch up with you soon thank you see you Hello.